this easy angle measurement video, we're going to show how to measure lumbar flexion. Now, in order to do that, we have to first get the patient and find the PSIS joints, and there are two bony protrusions. They're at about the same level as the ASIS joints. So if you find that it's difficult to find the PSIS, just locate the ASIS on the front and then just come around to around the same position on the back and you will find that. And from there, we're going to move inwards to L5, S1, and then we're going to count up using thumb widths. So one, two, three, four, five, and that takes us to L1. And from here, we're going to just put a little mark on the T12, so the, the 12th vertebra of the thoracic spine. We are going to take the measurement using our easy angle. But first, I'd like to show you the traditional measurement so that you can see how this is traditionally done with um, inclinometers. Now, these are a little bit tricky to use, but we're just going to get our patient. We'll just turn you around just slightly so that you can see where we're going. So we're going to start by taking one of the inclinometers and we have to align it around the top of the sacrum and then we have to find zero on this device so we mark zero by twisting this little thing and then we have to find a way to hold that where it is and we have to take the second device and bring it up to where we have our mark so the midpoint is on the mark and then we have to zero that device as well. It's a little bit harder to, to do. So you need two hands for this, which is a little bit tricky. Okay, so now we have both at zero, and then we're gonna ask the patient, can you please slowly flex forward from the hip? Very good. And from here, we need, we need to now read both of these devices. So this first one says 20, and the second one, says 85. So 85 minus 20 gives us 65. So the angle of flexion is 65. You can come back up to standing. So now we're going to try to take the same measurement using our easy angle. So for this, we're going to pop the ruler off because we don't need the ruler for this measurement. And we start by pressing the button to get blinking zeros. And this tells us that we're ready to set our plane of measurement. Now, when we start, we're going to align with the same points and we're also going to take two measurements here. So we start at the same spot, so on the sacrum, we're going to press the button to start the measurement and then we're going to come up to the thoracic vertebrae. Now we have a measurement here of 30 and if we look, we can see the direction of that angle. So it's going towards the right hand side. Now, if you could come all the way forward into full flexion again. So we have 30, and then we're going to start again. So our next measurement, we're going to start from the same spot. So we get our zero, and then we come all the way up to the same position, and we press here, and we get 35. So here we have a measurement of 65 when we add the two measurements. So our 30 degrees in one direction and our 35 degrees in the other. That gives us the total measurement of 65. And that is the same as the measurement that we got with the traditional devices.